good night, wherever you are. Um, I'm very excited for you to be here and that you're going to spend uh, about an hour with me on Flixters Next. So uh, when you join, give me a, uh, a one if you can hear me so that I'm not just speaking to myself. Just give me a one that you can hear me. Okay, good. So audio is fine. So I'm not just speaking to myself. And we're going to talk about uh, Flixters Next. We had Flixters Pro that we launched about a year ago. It uh, was very successful. A lot of people uh, loved the program, but there were a lot of questions as well. Hey, can you do this with it? Can you do that with it? Um, so we've built uh, some awesome features during the course of, uh, of this year to make it an even robust uh, and uh, uh, robust app and an application that you can grow your business with. So let me know where you're from. And also let me know why you felt to jump on board on this webinar. So that at least I can address those elements during the webinar when we go through it. Okay, so I'll just have a look at the questions. I'm doing this uh, today by myself. Uh, Kimberly is very busy with her uh, real estate business at, at the moment. So um, we'll, I'll, have to, I'll have to switch from the presentation to your question. So if you can bear with me, then that would be great. Okay. So I'm going to go through the, there are no questions up front. So that's, that's fine. We'll just go through the presentation. Uh, we've got quite a number of people on here. So we've got Adolfo, we've got Adrian, we've got Ashan, DJ, Ed, Avrium. Francisco, Greg, Kevin, Lynn, uh, Lynn, I've got you twice. That's great. Um, Oscar, Merlin, Obi, I don't know, I'm, I might be slaughtering your name. Reese, Samantha, Tanya, Stu, Thomas, and many, many more. Uh, and probably many people that are uh, going to jump on this webinar just a little bit later. So let's get into it. Um, if I'm correct, you are seeing my screen with the slide that says let thousands of su subscribers consume your videos, podcasts, and blogs on your own streaming service. Just give me a one in the box that you can see my screen. And we'll go through the, that's a yes, uh, other than a one. So that's where we're good to go. So there are a couple of reasons why, why, why you could be here. Right. Just put me put in the box why you think you are here. Okay. So it may be that you already have an online presence, right? Or you want to start one quickly. Now we'll address both of them during this webinar. Um, you want to use proven tools that will grow your business online, will grow your presence online, and will grow your income online. Okay. That's all the reasons why we're using the internet just to scale our businesses, right? Uh, you want to uh, replicate successful and proven online strategies, um, things that have been done before, rather than just testing it out for yourself. The other reason why you want to be here is because you believe that there is, you know, uh, available technology to you that provides you with an unfair advantage over your competition. And certainly Flixsters will address that. Uh, and you want an easy system to replicate results. Um, sometimes I'm pausing just to, to see what the questions are that, that are coming in. Okay. So I don't see any pressing questions at the moment. So what's the problem? Um, and, and I've been in the launching business for about seven years now. So I've seen the good, the bad and the ugly. Okay. So I can understand if you have uh, previously bought tools that didn't deliver to the promise on the sales page. One of the reasons why I myself have a group of beta testers that whatever tool we are promoting and whatever tool that we bring to the market is battle tested. Okay. We do not bring any tool to the market that hasn't been tested before. Okay. So, but I've seen many tools that have, and that have bugs and that have issues other than, you know, user issues in, in terms of, Hey, I didn't look through the tutorials. I just go straight to the support, to, to the support desk and ask the questions, right? you got that as well. I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about failing tools. Um, your experience of building a business is that it takes too long and uh, produces not enough income. Um, and, and I hear you. The, the, the key 
the problem there is not so much that uh, you know you can't get the income it takes too long many of the students i teach many of the people i coach they go jump from one um, application to the other right they it's this shiny uh, object syndrome it's okay i, I see new technology here um, I want to jump onto that and then you know the next week i'm going to jump on another uh, tool um and and that's a real problem uh you need you need to really focus on one single element and we believe that with the flexor platform that we're providing that is something that you can focus on and you know don't buy the shiny up uh, object for the next week just uh, leverage everything that's in this platform um, you don't have or can't produce enough content to, uh, you know, lead enough people to your offer or services, right? Um, and that's all got to do with enough people uh, and enough people in my mind, uh, we're looking at followers or predominantly an email list and a list that you own. Um, many ha have the belief that we, you need a big team to be successful online this is not necessary we are operating our business just by the two of us do we use external uh, resources yes when it's uh, convenient and when we need to but you don't really need a big team uh, and you need an email list uh, for long-term monetization um now that's not there definitely not the problem if you have a long email list the question is if you do not have an email list right the purpose for you to build your business is to create an email list or build out your email list so that any offers that you can create will uh, and can be presented to a captive audience. Okay. Um, let me uh, just do a quick introduction for those people that don't know us. Um, Danny and Kimberly DeVries, uh, we've been super affiliates for uh, many years now. I'm a launch consultant. I'm a seven figure copywriter. What does that mean? I write all the copy for the sales pages, for these webinars, and even uh, I write copy for uh, other people that have software products. I write copy for political uh, people that are in the political arena. I write their uh, speeches. Um, and funny enough that that trade, that skill, and I didn't know I did. I, I had that because from early on, um, I I have dyslexia. That means that for me, reading has always been a, str a struggle. Uh, I always thought, okay, but because I, ha I am a bad reader, I'm also a bad writer. And that's not the case because I've got such a focus on reading um, that my writing skills and the simplicity of the writing skills is uh, understood by many. So there's where I found uh, my little niche. Um, Kimberly is uh, the presenter in, in our team. And you can see her on our sales videos. And she is a, a natural talent when it comes to that, right? You can't deny it. The way she reads a prompter is like she's just reading it from memory. Um, I have written a book, Launch Secrets. It's a little program that uh, that uh, I do myself. I've got some students in coaching, uh, a couple of people, how to launch their uh, you know, service, software, info product, whatever they have uh, in a successful manner and applying everything we've learned over the last couple of years. Now, um, and, and this is not to, to brag, this is just to sh show you that we have had results, uh, not only with Flixsters last year, um, we've had uh, we've launched many, many products in the past. These are software products. We've also launched info products. We believe our niche is in building software, uh, and that's not software that we're building ourselves, but we team up with developer teams that have a unique skill and skill set to produce these uh, programs that, for us, first of all, need to deliver results. And secondly, for you as a user, right? So our main objective here is to produce solid tools for online entrepreneurs that will grow their top and bottom line. Um, basically, what it means is tools that make you money, right? That's our objective. And every time we talk to a developer team, this is our aim. Um, we have a strong rely, uh, uh, you know, we, we strongly rely on our reputation and on our customer support. Um, that does obviously not mean instant support. Uh, many people, especially people that go through the JVZoo channel, uh, believe that uh, support has to have to answer that question uh, quickly. And although we do, it doesn't mean that it's always instant, right? So. 
we uh, we always make sure that you are supported with whatever you have, and uh, we go go all out uh, many times just to go around the uh, the support procedures, which you usually are. You go into a support site, you you launch a ticket, uh, but many times we also go on chats, whether it's on Facebook or on Skype, in order to solve your problems. Okay, so. Um, what will you learn today? What, were, what are we going to go th go through during this presentation um, and this hour that we just uh, are spending together? Okay, we are going to go and we have a go uh, we are going to go on a deep dive on what Flixster has to offer. But before we do that, I need to set you in a certain frame that you understand. Okay, uh, Flixster still is a tool, right? And a tool has to support your uh, business objectives. So. What you will see is the easy way for your clients to consume your content from a single platform. Okay, let that sink in. Um, video, images, audio, text. Flixers Pro, the, 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 the product we launched a year ago, mainly focused on just the video aspect of it. And obviously that's a, a, a huge aspect of it still, but we believe that if we allow you to not only showcase your videos, but also your, you know, your podcast and your blogs, audio, your text, your images, um, you will be able to captivate that audience and keep them coming back for more. Okay, so that's that's one of the objectives that that we have today, and that we that we want to that we want to show you. Now, why you do not have uh, to invest in expensive subscriptions to showcase videos, podcasts, and blogs? Okay, we are paying, and many of you are paying for hosting, hosting videos, hosting audios in your podcasts, hosting your blogs. Okay, that's um, a thing of the past when you're looking at fixtures. How to use other people's content to build your platform? Now, many people have said, "Yeah, but I don't have content to uh, to you know build out my uh, my platform." Well, it's not necessary. I do suggest that you include your own content, but you can also leverage other people's content to support your business, you know, depending on what niche you are. And do put in the chat which niche you're operating so that uh, we can use that during this webinar to uh, show you uh, what you can do in your particular niche. Niche, niche, however you say that, right? How to gain and grow your subscriber base in any niche uh, with your own content platform. Here we go. Any niche, right? We just touched upon that. And there is an, a separate opportunity for you people that, that are looking to make money leveraging this platform um, as an agency uh, or as a reseller. Okay. And we want to show you how you can use this platform to do so. Okay. There are many uh, existing influencers. One of uh, uh, which we are showcasing today and is on this call today. At least that's what she said. Yeah, Adrian, we're going to show your uh, your Flixus channel, and uh, she's an influencer in her uh, niche, and she is leveraging uh, Flixus uh, as such. So we will show you that and much much more. more. There are so many things that that we we can cover during this uh, this time together. If there are specific elements that you you want to uh, get addressed, make sure you put it in the questions box, okay? So the other thing that we're gonna do is, uh, because we value your participation during this webinar, and we encourage you to, you know, be interactive with me. Not only does it make it more enjoyable and not uh, just a monologue from my side, but it gets you something in return. Because for those people that are going to be interactive in the, ch in the, in the chat, in the questions box, uh, we have a couple of uh, great opportunities. One is free platform access to platform uh, for, to, to Flixus Next, right? So I'm asking you to interact with me, and the opportunity here is that you could get your account for Flixus Next set, set up in the you know in the next hour. The other thing that uh, we're willing to uh, give one person, one individual, is a free hour of coaching. And that can be on anything. It can be on how do I build a funnel? How do I build a sales page? Uh, what do I need to do in my copy? How do I build out my uh, business? What do I need to put on my channel? Anything that you can think of for an hour long. And you can split it up in like 15 minutes every time or half an hour every time. Um, that's what we uh, were offering here. 
What we also do is we're going to give $100 cash away, uh, just straight into your uh, PayPal or wherever you want to do it. And we have a special opportunity for a select group of people at the end of this webinar. Uh, and those uh, are the people that believe that that opportunity is for them. Okay, I'm just going to keep the suspense there and we'll just continue. So we've got people out of the astrology uh, niche, we've got people out of the coaching niche, we've got people out of the agency, people that do agencies. Okay, great, awesome. Keep those questions coming, guys. So what we saw, uh, and, and, and one of the reasons why we created Flixers is there is a trend for video streaming and podcasting. Everyone knows the Netflixes, the Hulus, the Disney Plus, the TV, the Apple TV, the uh, Prime Video, right? And it's a market that is very fast growing, okay? By 2024, the video streaming market is looking at like a $700 billion market size, okay? Yeah, that's epic. Not only that, if you look at the podcasting mar market, you can also see an exponential growth of what people are expecting. And these are smart people, I I'm assuming. Um, you can see the websites underneath. Uh, that are looking for the growth. And now the interesting part, if you look at the podcast market size and you can see you know, in, in which areas, news, politics, social, society and culture, comedy, sports, others, in every aspect, in every element, in every niche, you can see the growth coming, okay? So it's not just one element, uh, you know, one market uh, that, that is growing from this. It's just every market that's gonna grow from this. And there's where, you know, oh, don't go that fast. There is where the Spotify's, the SoundClouds, the, the uh, Captivate, the Podbean, all these uh, companies are coming up and showing uh, and hosting a, actually the, 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 the podcasting and giving clients the ability to uh, let them, you know, get their voice out to the world. So what's, what's the opportunity for you? One is video streaming allows you to present your message online. As I said, not only that, but also podcasting does, right? But what we uh, experience with podcasts is that it allows to, you to gain and retain a following. There, are, there is a much more loyalty when it comes to podcasts than it is to video streaming. I don't know if you've noticed that yourself as well. If you listen to podcasts, you tend to listen to multiple podcasts from a single provider, right? So that's why podcast is so, uh, podcasting is so important. Uh, blog post uh, is the easy way to share content because you don't have the video production, you don't have the scripting. It's just you know you, you write an article and, and and put it out there. So it's it's an easy way to share your message. Uh, the other two are more complicated, right? So blog post is easiest. Podcast audio is uh, a little bit more complicated. Video, especially when you do your own production, then you do your own video editing, is going to be a little bit more complicated than that. Now. What you want to do and what you need to do in your business is, you know, you want to own your followers. Uh, what does that mean? Uh, it's great to have a social media presence and many of you have uh, a Instagram account, a Facebook account, a YouTube account, a Twitter account and so on, right? So give me a one in the box if you have three or more uh, social media accounts. Right, uh, Andre says, yeah, that's me, right? So who else? Heike says, I've got four at least. <laughs> I have them all, Adrian says. Um, so yes, it, and, and that's great, but um, the downside of that is uh, you do not own those followers. YouTube owns the followers, Facebook owns the followers, and Facebook also owns the followers on Instagram, right? Because it's just one big company. Um, and also on Twitter. So what you want to do is you want to convert these followers in email addresses because only then you can uh, retarget these people. Other than you can use and spend ads on uh, Facebook and YouTube and Google, etc. But that's that takes money. And the reason why you're spending money with those platforms is because it's their, their, they're actually their customers and not yours. So what you want to do uh, quickly is to convert these followers that you have. Uh, and I see many accounts with thousands of followers, but um, what if your accounts get, get, gets banned? 
Um, I've had so many people that are currently saying, hey, I, I shared my political view and now my, my account is, uh, uh, is banned. And, and it, it can happen to you. So that's, that's uh, the risk uh, in just operating on other people's platforms, right? So basically that's what I'm saying. So social media uh, and YouTube subscribers are people that at least uh, like your content uh, and only a small percentage you will, you will reach. That's another element that you need to know. If you are posting on, on Facebook, right? And you've got, I don't know how many friends or how, I don't know how many followers. Uh, Facebook does not present your post to all of your followers. They don't. It's just a small percentage that they will do that, okay? Once you own your own list, you are sure that they will receive, at least receive your, uh, your message, right? Uh, when people have logged into your list and given you the email ad address, they're actually saying to you, listen, I want to hear more of you other than, hey, I'm just following you. I just saw a video, I liked it, okay, right? They've added an extra step in that. And especially the large percentage of subscribers that you, that you have there is, 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 you know, for you to grow your business essential, okay? So the only way you can grow your business is by obtaining that precious email address, uh, and hopefully it's not a fake one, uh, but that precious email address to retarget without any cost. Okay, and there are other strategies that, that, that you can do in order to retarget people, but they most of the time involve money. That's not what we want. So the other thing is um, why Flexters, right? So um, I think about two years ago, this is what the, the video that I, I saw, let me just play it for you. And I'll just, let me see if I can increase the volume. There we go. One reason I'm so bad is because they even out click funnel because officially entered into the stream wars. Okay, we got Netflix, we got Disney Plus, we got all these companies that we want to compete because all this stuff is just like eating your brain away. I wanted to get something that actually helps. We created something a couple months ago called Funnel Flicks. That was the plan. That was the purpose to have this part inside of Funnel Flicks. Okay, we're always creating new content for Funnel Flicks members to help uh, help get them to uh, get better and better at, at growing their funnels. Like that's what it all comes down to, right? No. I mean, I love I, I love uh, Russell uh, Russell Brunson, and I follow whatever he does. And when he came out with uh, funnel flicks, I was like, "Why are you doing this? Why are you building a system um, in the area of video streaming?" And um, I thought about it, and then I got it. Right? Um, when I looked into funnel flicks, uh, not only does it cost you like three hundred bucks a month to 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 get that privilege. Because you will need to be a a subscriber to uh, click funnels uh, etc and you have to even upgrade to a platinum level but what was in the uh, funnel flicks was and you can see that in on the screen was his videos that he's teaching you know you got the one uh, funnel away channel uh, challenge you've got the high ticket secrets uh, uh, probably a series uh, 10x secrets but the other thing that you could see is videos from Jay Abraham, uh, Abraham uh, videos from Gary J. White from the Warrior Way Doctrine, uh, Funnel Universe also from someone else, Outsourced Force from a person I, I, I don't know either. And then it dawned to me, he's using other people's content to build this platform and he's ben benefiting from this, right? And not only that, he's building a platform for himself so that he can control it. Are you getting this? Are you getting the opportunity that an own platform delivers to you? Give me a one in the box if you get this. Okay, because if you're not getting this, you don't get why why we built Funnelflix, or in this case, Flixers, and why he created Funnelflix. Right. So you get that, right? Other than that, you know, you got a very uh, you got a lot of hosting uh, cost. You got co uh, uh, cost for uh, having your videos somewhere hosted or your blog post somewhere hosted, right? So I don't dwell, I want to dwell on that because the reason why you are here is because you want to see Flixers, right? So we build our own funnel Flix and we are uh, giving it to you. We're giving it to you to, to use. Now, the Flixers Next adds to the Netflix type of features, uh, the podcasting and the blogging, right? So there where you're currently using YouTube, you're currently using Facebook, you're using uh, StreamCloud, you're using 
Spotify, you're using WordPress, etc. That all either costs money or effort to put all your content out there. Right? Think about that. And we want to provide that on one single solution. The other thing that we've uh, allowed is because we're streaming videos through the platform is we don't want to uh, we don't want you to uh, download upload upload download uh, videos that you've created on for example with a facebook live or a youtube live etc because what happens now is uh, you do a live you have to download the video you have to upload it either to you know your amazon s3 or your uh, Facebook, your Vimeo account, your Dropbox account. We don't want you to do that. We want you to keep your content there where it is and be able to stream that content through the Flixtus platform so that uh, you, your ability to send out your message, the message that is required for you to send out to your niche is simply in one location the, uh, and, and, and sent out from one location, a location that you own. Okay, the added, added element, which was a request from many of our users is, hey, can you add Google Drive? Now, the reason why Google Drive is required is because it doesn't cost you anything. It doesn't cost you anything to host a video on Google Drive. Now, surely they will advertise to you, but once you have a video on Google Drive and you stream it through Flixers, one, what do you achieve? You achieve no cost for hosting and the ability to stream it to your clients in a controlled way, right? And we're gonna show you that in a demo later. Okay, so there's no more uploading, downloading that you, you need to do in order to show your uh, message online. What's always been very powerful and which continues to be the, uh, powerful in Flixus Next is the bulk video import okay many of the people uh, and and uh, if i look at the, the the list of attendees there are many many but i can see uh, uh, some people that already have the flixers platform and some people that have not does not do not have the flixer platform at all now um we're going to go into a, a case study later on uh from adrian obi that you know she said uh, I've, she is a content producer um like i've seen no other that means she's producing videos many many videos that uh, her audience like to see but what do you do if you got so many videos already produced on youtube uh you don't want to upload download anything to a new system right so any tool that i would present to her is say, yeah uh, are you nuts i'm not gonna put in the work to do that and that's why we built this easy import from YouTube. That means you can see it on the left side and I'll show you it in the demo as well. You can import videos from a specific channel. That can be your channel or can be another channel. Um, and import all the videos at once. And just the, the, this, this just takes seconds for us to import these videos and stream them out through your platform. So you can basically get up and running in minutes with this. Okay. The other thing you can do is use keywords. If you think, hey, I want videos from various uh, video producers uh, in a specific niche, just uh, do that. What you can see on the screen, you know, the keyword here is TikTok, and you get all these TikTok videos, and I can select which videos I want to import and not, right? So John Baptiste is saying, yeah, this is powerful. It is. It's very powerful. Okay, so the. Um, Guys, give me a one in the box if you if you have an issue with the sound, because Richard is saying I'm just keeping losing sounds. That might be on his end, but if the sound continues to be uh, an issue, then I'll have to switch to another microphone. Okay, give me sound is fine. Okay, great. Okay, uh, Richard, I, I suggest what you do is you log in and out. Okay, that that sometimes helps the uh, the audio uh, problem. Okay. The other thing that you can do with this is what we call an ethical video hacking. Because with Flixters, you can import other people's videos. Uh, and in this case, I used an example from Russell Brunson that, uh, and he sells his programs, he sells his uh, challenges, he sells his, well, he sells many things, his books, uh, and you can become an affiliate for that, right? 
Now, he's already produced great videos to uh, advertise his product. So why would I create uh, another video like that if I don't have the budget or you know I don't have the ability to, to create these videos? So I just import his videos. And what I do is I change the title if I need to uh, into my own title. And the, the descriptions, I use my affiliate links for people to get to his sales pages. Right? So it's a very easy way if you're in affiliate marketing or if you want to earn something on the side to use this system, use other people's videos and uh, uh, get some affiliate income, right? Now, what's, what we have added uh, to Flixters Next? Uh, one request was, uh, can we add an intro video to the uh, channel? And I get the request. The reason why you want to have an intro video on your channel is to straight away um, let people know what they can find on your channel, but also to let them subscribe. Okay, so people can access your channel, uh, but in order for them to like or comment on your videos, they have to subscribe. That means they have to leave an e email address. Okay, so and the, the intro video is the perfect you know, segue into getting people subscribe to your channel straight away when they come to your, uh, to your channel, okay? And I'll show you where you can find the intro video and how you can add that to your channel in the demo later on. And if I tend to forget that, then I'm sure you guys will remind me. Okay, so the next uh, thing is podcasting. This is a very important element that we added to uh, Flixters Next. Uh, it's what I said, it's the ability to retain your customers or uh, retain your, 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 your followers and the people that are, are watching your channel. Most of the time they come into your channel because they wanna watch a video. If they see your podcast and you subscribe to your podcast, this is the way to retain them, okay? So whenever you've got another podcast coming out, you can email your, uh, your followers and say, hey, I've got a next podcast that you may want to listen to, right? Because on this platform, people are, if they want to uh, join it, you have to subscribe with your email address. You can't do that with YouTube. You can't do that with, with Facebook, right? So, and uh, obviously bot, uh, blog posts, okay? So we've got the video portion, we've got the audio portion, and we have the text portion. Now, this is important for you to have blog, blog posts on your site because for many of the search engines um, and, and keywords that uh, that search engines are looking for, they use blog posts to, to uh, provide people with results on their searches, right? So it is a very important element in your business to produce blog posts, okay? And the best thing, and I don't know if you realize it, if you make a video, you, you can extract the audio. If you make a video, you can extract the text. So once you've created a video, you can easily make it into a podcast and you can easily make it into a blog post. So that's what I always advise people to do. Although video is more work, you will have multiple versions of content that you create. Okay. Kevin says, this is all very exciting to me. Uh, let me see. Heike says, so Flixus Next is the ultimate distribution ecosystem. Uh, you're totally right. That's how we're trying to build this thing. Yes. Pat says I have to go. Well, um, hopefully we're recording this webinar, um, but I can never promise a good delivery. Okay. Um, for that, we're relying on GoToWebinar. So I've had some times that the recording didn't go. So make sure that uh, you always join uh, live so you don't miss anything. Um, social sharing, yes, those social sharing buttons are there. As I said, you've got your own subscribers. That means you've got your own email addresses. It also checks IP addresses, okay? That you're actually dealing with not a bot, but a real uh, person, okay? The other thing that we have is a complete dashboard, and we'll show you that in the, uh, in the demo. And full analytics when you come to the dashboard, and this is the back end, the admin system, uh, where you can do a lot of settings. Uh, and I've seen many of the users that are using Flixers not even using 50% of the power that Flixers uh, provides. Okay. Um, you have your own video manager. I'll show you that as well. Uh, we've got a comment manager. 
we have eight different languages in which you can do this. Uh, many of you are just working on the English language, but some uh, are using it for other languages. And we allow uh, people to, uh, to, to use those other languages, uh, and especially when, when uh, people from other countries are going to go into your site. Okay, we got day and night mode. I prefer the night mode because it's it, it pops out the uh, uh, the videos and the thumbnails a, a lot better. Uh, but it's a personal taste, so that's why uh, we've defaulted on uh, the night mode. But people can put it on a day mode. Okay. One important thing is your if you have got your account on Facebook or YouTube, uh, you are never sure whether you're going to be banned or not. Now, I have a great story about that because my son. Uh, used uh, yeah, I mean he's a gamer right um, he's a gamer and he produces uh, these these videos and uh, sometimes they, they, they put some uh, some music on that and uh, the music that he used I think it was copyrighted or something else you know he, he got he got penalized for that and uh, they have a uh, an account that has how many uh, subscribers I think it's about 300,000 subscribers right um, and they weren't producing any videos anymore. So I asked you, why are you not producing videos anymore? Because he said, because that if I add another video and I get slammed again, they ban my account. Uh, and then I got, got nothing anymore. So you, you can see the, 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 you know, the, the, the lack of power that you have when you use other people's platforms. Okay, so a, a couple of examples of niches that you can think about. You can have the TikTok videos, you know, uh, a channel just just with that, uh, which people love to consume those videos. Uh, you can have a, a marketing video. Uh, in this case, you know, Russell uh, got Gary V, etc. Uh, guru videos. So basically, if you have your own, uh, if you're your own little guru, guru, and we showed that in the case study today. Uh, you'll have uh, that you can have affiliate video streaming so uh, if you're into selling apps you can do that uh, if you're into politics whether it's on the liberal side on the conservative side these these sites have many many followers why because they follow a certain narrative narrative that people like and like to comment on it so these do very well uh, whether you're in the real estate uh, uh, video streaming so we have a, on Flixers a, a channel that uh, Kimberly uses for her real estate business uh, whether you're in the roofing uh, industry, right? If you're producing instruction videos or uh, educational videos to explain why uh, one type of roof is better than the other type of roof, right? So there are many, many uh, things that you can think of that you can use with Flixers. So before we continue and to keep you, uh, you know, excited about uh, Flixers and uh, getting my, a, a lot of comments in the in the question box. Uh, I want to give a free ca a candle away. So let me just have a look at the questions and see who's been very active in this. Okay. So the first person that I'd like to provide a free Flixters Next account to, and you may have a Flixters Pro, but then you'll be upgraded to Flixters uh, Next, would be Kevin George. So Kevin you are the first winner of a free access to Flixus Next. So I'm going to write your na name down so I can find your email address after. Okay. Let's go. Now, um, we are going to launch Flixus uh, Next next week on Monday. Doors will open. But during this webinar, uh, we're going to provide our customers, that means, uh, customers from Kimberly and, and me, uh, a first peak and a first opportunity to get in, okay? So um, we have a couple of upgrades and in the demo, I want to show you all the upgrades altogether. I don't want to do a demo uh, after each uh, element, okay? So what can you expect in the ultimate, so the upgrade that we would, set, uh, we would provide you? Long and behold, many, many, many people have asked, can I change out this Flixsters logo uh, and and put my own logo in. Okay. Now that wasn't very easy for us to program, although we we did manage it, and it is now possible with uh, Flixus Next Ultimate Package to swap out the Flixus logo. So in this case, you can see that on one of my web uh, on one of my channels is where I switched out this logo. Okay. I'll show you how how you can do that. 
Um, now, obviously, these imports are going to be available for uh, Flixters next on the front end. Uh, so I'll have to take this out. It originally was on the upsell, but now we, we are uh, putting that in the front end. Um, what you can do with Ultimate as well is update your view count and your like count. Okay, now um, you can think, hey, that's cheeky. Well, uh, no, it's not. Uh, and I obviously it's depending on, on what you want to do yourself. But when you import uh, videos from uh, YouTube or from Facebook, obviously they already had views on that location, right? So it, it wouldn't be fair to you if, if views would stay on zero or likes would stay on zero while you already have thousands of views on YouTube or wherever platform, right? So we do create the ability to update your views and likes uh, so that it shows how popular your videos really are, okay? Um, Thomas says, I'm, I'm, I assume it's hosted on your platform. Your videos do not need to be hosted on our platform. That's the, the great thing about Flex, they don't. If you've got your videos on Google Drive, where you don't pay any uh, hosting, uh, we limit hosting to a, a certain amount, can't, can't remember what, what exactly. We can't uh, allow unlimited hosting, um, but it's not necessary. You don't need to, to host your videos on, our, on Flixus, right? Okay, I hope you, you get that, okay? So the other thing is that we uh, integrated a, a couple of uh, autoresponders that are widely used. Okay, the reason why is when they subscribe to your channel and you've got the email and you've got a new podcast and you want, uh, you want to inform your uh, clients of the new podcast, you want to have these email addresses in your autoresponder so that you can send them a message, right? This is the whole retargeting game. So um, although you can download or uh, copy all the email addresses from Flixsters into an autoresponder or into whatever uh, system you're using, um, this integration just makes it so much easier. Okay, makes it automated. Every time someone subscribes, it's added to your list. We, uh, um, you can create uh, channels and playlists with Ultimate. You can, uh, uh, you have, you will have an integrated uh, uh, messenger in uh, Ultimate in the Ultimate upgrade, and I'll show you how that works. Uh, so people can interact with you on the platform itself, and we've got a pay upgrade. Okay, so that was the ultimate upgrade. Biggest feature in the ultimate upgrade is I want to exchange out my uh, my logo, right? So in the pay upgrade is where actually not only you'll be able to showcase your videos, you can put a price on your videos. Now think about it. Why would I ask a price for a certain video? Okay, give give me give me a reason why you would in in the in the chat box. Why would you ask a certain price for a video? Yeah, right. Delphine says training. David says educational and training. If you're providing value to someone else for which you can get value in return, you can ask a price for a video. Right. If, if you have a full course and you can actually uh, put a price on a category or you can put the price on a full channel, with Flixsters, you can actually create a Flixster channel that is just like a membership program, right? Um, that's what you can create, right? If you have premium content, you can ask a price. If you produce, yeah, exactly, I get master classes. You know, if you uh, educate people in making money, Oscar, that's right. So. Adding the feature, or at least an amount, to a video, which you know people would want to watch, is how you can monetize your channel. Okay. Again, our objective is not to make things easier. Uh, our objective, objective is not just to make it more safer and, 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 and not be under the control of other platforms. But our aim is for you to earn money. Right? That's our objective with every, every platform that we bring out there. So we can have uh, views be paid. It's pay-per-view. It's a uh, term that is uh, very much used in the streaming and on-demand video uh, platforms. You know, 
you must have uh, watched a movie and, and paid for it, right? So that's on demand. Ike says, yeah, you know, if, if I want to do a summit or, or, I do wor uh, or if I want to do workshops, I want to ask a price for it. And with integration with PayPal and Stripe, our platform is allowed to do that. You can see that on this, this particular video. Now I'm just showing the screenshot of the video where you can put a price in here. Now, if you leave it empty, it's a free video. If you put an amount in there, then and the minimum price has to be one dollar or whatever uh, currency you're, you're using at that at the time. Um, you have to at least do one dollar, right? The other way that you can monetize your channel is not only by asking money for uh, views or for access to your channel, you can also uh, add advertisements to your site. Now, why would you want to do that? One, it's because you can earn money that way. Uh, this is an example of uh, Kimberly's uh, site where she wants to have people, you know, on her email a list uh, while getting her book. So we redirect her, them to a opt-in page where they uh, can can get their uh, get her uh, book in, in exchange for uh, their email platform. Uh, for for their email address, right? Um, the other thing is, if you have certain videos in a specific niche, for example, the software niche, or uh, you are in the info product space, uh, and you're producing uh, educational videos, and there are other people that are uh, providing those courses, then you can get some affiliate income using these ads, right? So it's another way to monetize your channel using ads that you can uh, create and, and put on strategic locations here on top of the video or besides the, the comment section or, uh, or underneath the comment section or, and besides the uh, description, right? There's the strategic locations where these ads can be placed. Okay, and you can do that with Flixsters, okay? Um, with this upgrade, the other thing that you can you you can do is you can change out the category names. Now they are pre-filled with uh, film and animation, music, uh, pets, entertainment, and so on. Right? It may be that for your niche, that is not very practical. Now uh, on YouTube, that's the only thing you can choose. On Flixsters, you can just change out these names and use your own categories. I'll show you that in an example as well. Now, when you do so, because we are providing eight language supports and you want to be able to use all the languages, you will also need to change those languages into, uh, or, the, or that, that phrase what you're using into those languages. Okay, as I said, you can also set the whole site as a premium site. In, in this case, if they wanna uh, see your videos, they'll have to pay for it your, uh, first, okay? Just like with Netflix, if you wanna use Netflix, you have to pay, I don't know, a subscription of eight, eight dollars? At least uh, when, I, uh, when I got it, it was eight euros when I was still in Europe. So who's looking forward to this demo? Give me a one in the box if you're excited to see Flixsters live in action. I'm just gonna take a sip of my drink here. A lot of ones, a lot of yeses, even multiple ones. So um, give me a minute to get out of here. And we'll come back to it later on. And let me just switch my screen. Let me see if I can switch the screen right here. Um, screen. I don't know if that's the main screen or. That's the wrong screen. Here we go. So give me a one in the box if you can see the Afflictive channel on your screen right now. Okay, I can see the ones. Okay, so this is a, a Flixus channel that I just created. And let me let me go from, uh, you know, just when you start your Flixus channel, okay? So when you start your Flixus channel, you likely have no videos in there, right? So whenever you come to, and you've set up your, your Flixus channel, you uh, have to log in here on the right. You have to click on this icon and uh, click login. Okay, I'm already logged in, but that's the first thing that you need. 
uh, you will have received when you set up your channel your uh, login name, which is usually your uh, your email address and a password. Okay. Once you do that, you see depending on which version you have um, these menu options and these menu options here on the admin panel. Okay. So first of all, we don't do anything here because there are no videos, right? When you just come to this. So we'll go to the admin panel. And I've already got this open. And the first screen that you would see is the dashboard. You'll see how many videos. And in this case, when you just uh, you know created your channel, these will be all zero, 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 right? The first thing you, what you want to do is when you want to use bulk import from uh, YouTube, is you have to go to settings, general settings, in order to enter your API key for YouTube. Okay, and we have separate instructions. Won't go through that now, but uh, how how you can use how you how you can how you can do that and obtain this API key. When you fill this in, you just press save, and the next thing you do is you go to videos, import videos, import videos from YouTube, and watch this. Um, so in this case, I'm talking about a live. Uh, a live file channel, right? So um, I can use a keyword to find lifestyle type of videos. Maybe lifestyle even works, right? Uh, and if I want to import it into a certain category, maybe entertainment, then I can select that here. And I don't want to auto import. Uh, I just want to select the videos that it the system produces itself from YouTube. I click search, and what you'll see is all the videos with the key uh, with the keyword lifestyle. Okay, for some reason, when you click lifestyle, you get uh, many fancy cars. <laughs> Do you notice that you get many fancy cars. So if you're a car lover, you may want to uh, uh, use those videos to import into your channel. If you don't like a, a a certain video, maybe it's in another language. Let me see if I've got something in another language here. That you do not want to import. No, nope, not necessarily. I think. Then you just click uh, click this box, right? If I don't want to uh, have this video on my channel, or I don't want to have that video on my channel, just deselect it. If I don't think it's it's enough videos that I've imported, you can do load more, and it'll produce even more videos that you can import. Okay, you see that? So once you've selected your uh, videos. I can import selected. And you can see that it's just that easy, and these ones I deselected, uh, to import those videos. So if I go back to my channel and I refresh, all the videos you can see are in here right now. It's that easy. So these are other people's videos. If you have your own channel on YouTube, what you do is you go back to your admin panel. And in this case, and uh, taking it from um, YouTube, so let me just open YouTube. Let me show you how you can do that. And I can pick any channel. Okay, it's a bit slow because we're on a webinar at the moment. So, for example, I want ambient music. Um, and I can see it is this is the channel, right? And it always produces a intro. But on the URL, what you can see is this code. And this code is actually the channel code. Okay, you just copy that channel code, go back to your admin panel, enter that code, and you choose import from channel. Okay. In this case, it's music. Let it search. And you can see all the videos that are from that particular channel. If this is your own channel, awesome, great. Select all the videos and click import, right? If you don't have enough, look more. If you want to have a channel that has uh, ambient music, you don't need to create the content. The content is already there, right? How many videos have already been created? How much music has already been created? You just use it. Now, many times uh, I've been asked, but Hey, can you really use other people's content? Actually, you can. If you use YouTube, the uh, current policy is if you stream, and again, I'm not downloading the content, I'm not uploading it to my own platform, I'm streaming it through my own platform, is 
kind of embedding a video that has been made public, right? So this video in here, any video which I would select is I can share it and I've got a link that I can share, right? Or I can use an embed code, right? This embed code I can put on my website, I can put anywhere. It's allowed by YouTube. And that's what we are leveraging with Flixers, that technology. So is it allowed to use other people's content? Yes, if you do it this way, yes, you can, right? And build your list with other people's content. So that's obviously the, most of the times that's, that's the way that you would import uh, videos. Now, what if you have videos on other uh, hosting platforms? For that, you go to your channel, you have to log in as a user, and then you see this blue camera. And then uh, what you can do is you can uh, local upload, which I do not suggest, especially when you have bigger files, just put it on Google Drive and, and stream it through Flixsters. Um, but you can cloud import, and you can put here any URL from YouTube, Vimeo, TikTok, MP3, Facebook, Google Drive, and Dropbox. Okay, now this is single video import. This is not bulk import. So you will have to select the URL. In this case, I can, I, can, I can do a TikTok video. I can fetch the video, right? I can put in my own uh, uh, title. This is actually a video on TikTok. Uh, I can put my own uh, title, my own description, uh, put it in the category I want, et cetera, and then publish it, right? I need to put a title in. I need to put a description in. And publish it. And I've got this uh, video that that that, that will show, right? There we go. Go and play it. I just uh, so this is a, a a streaming a current video on TikTok through your channel. Videos that are in high demand, at least uh, the way they uh, a lot of people want to want to look at, uh, uh, you know, spend their time on. Uh, on TikTok. It's like watching TV. I won't qualify that. Um, okay, so th that's what you can do in terms of videos. Now, in order to add your podcasts, uh, I'm, I'm thinking if I would, let me just go through the uh, elements of the admin panel first so that actually you know what's included on the back end. So here is where uh, several features that I just discussed in, this, in the slides you can find. Okay, when you go to uh, the dashboard, you see the analytics. When you go into settings, general settings is the, U U the uh, YouTube API, and the payment settings is if you want to, you know, one is to add your PayPal account and your Stripe account. Your white label settings, what we call a white label, it's not a true white label. Okay, there's a difference, and we'll talk about that later, is where you can add your logo and your favicon. Now, your logo is the logo that that is presented here, right? Where the Flixsters logo is. And the Fabicon is this little icon on the top. Okay, so if you look at this channel, for example, this is my my product launch channel. Uh, you can see the uh, logo on the on 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 the left on the top left, right? And you can see that the Fabicon has changed from the the Flixsters Fabicon into my own, which is a little D for Danny. Got here the uh, introduction uh, video on this channel, and that's the typically the first video that that people will see, and they can play this video straight away when they they come into the channel. Obviously, they can X out and they can look at other videos on my channel. Okay, so that's the logo and the favicon. Then uh, site settings is all the settings that are relevant uh, for the search engine. So I always suggest that you do fill these in uh, so that the search engines can find your channel as well. You can insert some custom code here. Uh, that is for if you if you run some ads, if you want to have people uh, retargeted, you can put here uh, your Google Pixel or your Facebook Pixel. That's the area that you can find here. And the site settings, pre the the site premium settings is if you enable that, people uh, before they look at any video, they have to pay a price. Okay, that's on this channel. It's now zero. Then you can see users. Uh, in this case, you can see me as a user because I'm the only user here. Uh, but you can see here, here's my email address. I can just copy and paste it to, to my autoresponder. 
manage videos is any video that you have just uh, imported, you can obviously also delete. You just select that and delete it here with this delete uh, icon. You can also edit it. So in this case, I can go to the edit and I can edit the description. I can edit the, the title and I can edit the thumbnail, just uh, adding a uh, picture, right? So if I wanna add a picture here, I just can add a thumbnail there. And let me just go back. The other thing that I showed you in one of the upgrades is that I can update the views because this video, uh, if I, it's my own video or someone else's video, I can update the view count. So if it has like 120 uh, views and 12 likes, then I can add that here, save changes, and now it will show those views and likes on this video. Okay, so that's what you can do on managed videos. You can uh, put in a keyword if you've got many videos to find your a video that you want to uh, do, you can have different selection options here as well. Uh, we have blog posts, what we call articles. Uh, you can add a new article, uh, blog post here uh, with a thumbnail, and you can manage articles here. So we've got this one article that uh, we added on this channel. We've got uh, managed podcasts. Don't know if there is a pod there is a podcast here. It's probably a test. Um, for example, what would people see if I go here to my podcast? Is they see this little icon and multiple I icons if you've got multiple podcasts. You just go into the podcast itself and people can play it. All right. What people can also do is they can fast forward and uh, go back and they can play it on different speeds, which is very important for podcasts because some people like to consume your content at a higher speed. Uh, I used to do that, I, I, well, I do that all the time when I uh, go through books, audio books. Okay, so that's a, a key feature. Um, other things on the admin channel uh, or admin panel is the intro video. Intro video that you saw on my channel is currently disabled for this uh, channel, but I can pick any video that I've uploaded uh, or imported and produce it as an intro video. Okay, so not doing that for this account. Autoresponders, you can connect your autoresponders here. You can manage comments. Any comment that is has been uh, made on uh, one of your uh, videos, you will see here. So you don't have to go to a specific video to see if there's a comment, okay? You can just do that from a single screen. You can advertise, as I showed, you know, on the header footer, the watch page sidebar or the watch comment, you know, next to, uh, I think it's underneath the, the, the uh, comments. Um, and you can change here the uh, the categories. Okay, so if you want to uh, change out the category of film and animation, what I told you is not only you have to do that in English, but all the eight other uh, languages if you want to use that. Okay, if you know your audience is just English, you can just change this. And you can make this category a premium category. So if you have a category that is just free, people that can consume your free uh, uh, videos, just create a category that is premium for your uh, videos that you want to, the series of videos that you want to uh, have as uh, paid. Okay, and then you have pages, manage pages. This is what you see on a specific channel on the bottom. Okay, so this is uh, in terms of views, privacy, policy, and about. If you look at underneath this channel, you can see the terms of use, privacy, policy, and about. Uh, I suggest that you do fill these in so that people know what your policy is, okay, for, for use, et cetera. That's all what you do on the back end of Clicksters. Now on the front end, let me go to this uh, channel again. Takes a minute to load. Uh, and um, if you wanna add, I, I showed you the, this icon, uh, for cloud import, single cloud import and uh, file upload. You've got here a comments uh, or an inbox section where if you've got a user that uh, is sending you a message, uh, you can see that here. And you've got uh, updates here. If you've got a message or you've got a, a recent like, you can see that uh, next to the bell icon. Okay, so it, it, it prompts you for any updates that have been made on your, uh, on your channel. You do have to log in for that. So don't forget, forget about that. Then on the left side, you obviously have your blog posts. You can see there's a blog post here. If you wanna create a blog post, you can also do it from here. 
The other uh, way was through the admin panel and created. But here is where you can also create your blog post. And for your podcast, here's the way you create your podcast. It's pretty easy. You uh, upload your audio file, you upload an image, select your category, enter a tag, else it doesn't publish. And uh, you need to uh, enter in a title and a description. Okay. And then what people will see is what they see, for example, in this uh, podcast that I just showed you. There are other uh, elements. So uh, if you look at uh, the channel, this is the channel uh, URL that uh, you can also send people to. Oh, sorry, I think I don't think I've populated that one yet. So in this case, this is the channel view of my channel. Uh, you can add a banner that you can see here. You can add your profile picture. And uh, here is where the videos are that are specific to this channel. Here's where you can find the playlists. Now, how do you add videos to a playlist? Pretty simple. You select a video that you want to add to a playlist. Get a couple of things that you, you can see here. Um, if you uh, click share is where the video can be shared on social media platforms and you can embed a video on your site, just like what you can do in YouTube. If you want to add it to a playlist, you can one, create a playlist and then check mark the playlist so that uh, the system knows that this video needs to be added to a certain playlist. Okay. And also from here, you can add the video again, if you want to uh, edit anything, uh, if it's not correct, or if you want to include your, your affiliate link for a video that you've imported from someone else. Right. Um, the other thing that you can also do is that uh, at least users is you, they can click autoplay. That means after one video, the next video will be autoplayed in a specific uh, playlist. So especially when I go to playlists, I don't know if I've added everything to a playlist. I think I have. Oh, no. So if I click on the playlist, you can see all the videos that are included in this playlist. And it'll go one by one, right? Day one, two, three, etc. Okay, that's where playlists are really helpful. And if you want to send people to a playlist, you just use that URL that Flix has produced and you can send them straight away to a playlist that you want them to see. Okay. Kevin says, man, you thought of everything. Yes. Well, um, actually our users have thought of many things that we've implemented in here. And that's, that's why we love that. Um, anything that you've missed from my presentation versus the demo that you've said, Hey, you talked about this, but I haven't seen it yet. Can you schedule uploads? Uh, no, you cannot schedule uploads. But uh, again, uh, Thomas, what I suggest you do is we we are allowing the upload, but I do not suggest that you use the up uh, upload. Just just use the uh, one. You will get into a maximum that you could upload, um, and if if that is really what your question is about uploading, because if it's importing, importing is unlimited. What I showed you. Other than the YouTube API may limit you in terms of how many uh, videos you import on a day or in a certain period of time. The, uh, the easy way to uh, go about that when that happens is just create another API uh, key and then you can continue straight uh, from there. If you can see that here, you know, uh, I've also uh, produced many of those APIs. Okay. How to put uh, up an intro video. Um, intro video is uh, pretty simple. You just go to the section intro video and you set set intro video and you select the video that you would like to use as an intro. Okay. So in this case, uh, if I go to the admin panel on this, this one, I selected day one as my intro video. Okay. Oh, Thomas, you meant importing. Yeah, importing is, it is not scheduled. Um, uh, but you can have unlimited imports, bulk import and single import. So does the video have to be public uh, uh, on our channel? And when you're talking about on our channel, Delphine is uh, on your YouTube channel. Yes, it has to. So the only way I can import from a YouTube is if these videos have complied with uh, the YouTube policy that says yes, uh, people can share this video on their websites. Okay, so it has to be public. So that is indeed the case. 
Um, so let me just uh, flip the screen again, and then uh, I'll, we'll go back to the presentation. And I just want you to uh, uh, want to show you a couple of opportunities that you have with the Flixer system. Okay. And then we'll come back to the case study that I want to show you later on. Okay, so uh, bear with me while I uh, share another screen. It's always interesting when uh, when that happens. Um, I have to click this screen and then play it. And if it's okay, you now see a screen that says demo. Just give me a one in the box if you can see a screen that says demo. Yes. Thank you, David. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Daniel. Okay, before we uh, continue, let me make someone else happy. Who wants to be happy? So we've got a free pro account, or in this case, a free next account to give away. So let me have a look at the comment box. And if you've been very responsive, then I see your name many, many times. And when I see your name many, many times, you may be able to get a Flixus Next account set up for you. And the lucky winner, besides Kevin George, that has already got it. Um, Kevin, you got to continue to, to put your comments in. Um, there's more opportunity to get at the end of the webinar. Uh, is Thomas White. Thomas, congratulations with your account. It'll be coming your way soon. Okay, so next thing I want to talk to you about is the agency upgrade. Yes, there is an agency upgrade. Now, this may not be for everyone, but uh, let me flip through this very quickly. If you want to uh, allow other people to have Netflix, uh, uh, Netflix, Flixster's accounts, in this case, Flixster's next account, then you may want to look at the agency upgrade, which allows you a number of accounts that you can resell, basically. Okay, you will have your own client creation dashboard. Um, and yeah, I'm not going to show you mine, but because there's email addresses in there. Um, and uh, you can uh, add accounts through your own dashboard. Now, we have done the hard selling for you. We've produced videos that you can uh, use in your sales process. If you want to do your own videos, that's okay. Uh, we've got a, a, a spokesperson visit video, which Kimberly did, and we've got a doodle video. Uh, you can use this video with your own voice if you want to do that. Hi, let me ask you a question. What if there was a way to easily grow your business without spending tons of money on advertising? Would you be interested? So let me ask you this. What if you could start generating more income starting as early as tomorrow? There we go. I won't play the whole video. Uh, but you, you can understand that that's, that video is ready made for you. Uh, if you want to uh, resell uh, these uh, Flixters accounts, you can use that video or you can download it. You can edit it the way you want. It's up to you. Okay. The other thing that we're providing you is done for you sales tools. You've got a sales presentation that you can use. You can have invoice templates, work agreements, lead capture sites uh, or site and swipes, right? So, uh, messages that you can send people to show what opportunity there is uh, for you as an agency. Now, I do not know which business may not uh, want or need a Flixus channel, okay? If you're serious about marketing online, uh, even when you're a local business, uh, you can see, you could see that from the roof, for example, that I gave, you know, if you wanna educate people on your expertise, you want to have this, right? It's a great way to market your business and to get leads online. So it's a big opportunity for you. It's all done for you. The agency package includes everything you need, you know, the setup dashboard to add your and manage your clients, the Flixters Pro, uh, or in this case, the Flixters Next, Flixters Ultimate, Flixters Pay, an outreach and follow up email, uh, a website that you can use uh, to gain new local businesses, three videos, and why that went. I don't know. Uh, three sales videos that's present that have been presented by Kimberly, a professional. Oh, I don't know why it goes. I just shouldn't touch it, I guess. Um, um, a PowerPoint presentation that you can change. Uh, you can put your logo on, etc. A work agreement that you can use just straight from the get-go and an invoice template. It's all included there. Okay. So what's included in the complete 
Flixters suite. We've got the Flixters Next that um, if, you know, apart from the launch that will happen next week, is going to go for 67 per year and uh, the ultimate 77 a year, pay 97 a year and the ATC 297 a year. That's about 537 a year. Um, but obviously that's not something that uh, I want to pitch to you now. The launch for this platform will happen on Monday next week. Okay, we will open the gate and all these elements will have a one time fee, not a yearly fee, not a monthly fee, but a one time fee. Okay, that's what I can promise you already. Now, uh, that's to set the stage. Uh, there is, uh, by the way, another opportunity that I will uh, give you today. Uh, but for that, I first want to show you a case study. Now, I know someone has been really, really excited about seeing this. Uh, she's on uh, this particular call and she just mentioned, wow, I love it. Yes, we do. And I uh, love what you've done with Flixster. So let's have a look at Adrian Obi's pay, uh, uh, channel on uh, Flixsters. It's called gregarious.flixsters.com. If you want to... Uh, uh, you know, go there on your own uh, laptop, on your mobile, whatever you want to do, go there now. Uh, uh, but I will also show it from the screen right here. Okay, so if you bear with me, I have to switch screens again. Switching screen to three. There we go. That went fast. Um, if I'm rightly informed by the system you can now see the youtube channel for astrology a look inside give me a one if you can see this okay there are, it's, there is always a little bit of a delay and i think okay am i speaking to myself and here is where the ones come and what you can see here is a channel uh, from adrian and adrian has many videos she is a video producer like no tomorrow okay she's got her intro video she's got her channel all set up she's got uh, a phenomenal three and a half thousand subscribers um, and uh, growing quickly this is a niche that is growing like crazy okay so She's uh, produced these videos. Uh, the other thing that she has, she has a Facebook account with all videos there. Uh, these are all messages that people are sending me. Um, you can see the videos that are here. Now, it would be crazy for Adrian to get all those videos uploaded, downloaded, and get it to her Flixus channel, right? Adrian has a podcast uh, hosting uh, system set up with SoundCloud. Now, another system that she has to use to you know, get her message out. And what Adrian has, she has a website where she puts her blogs, right? All these blogs that she's a very active influencer in her niche. Um, and when I first uh, got in contact with Adrian, she had, uh, you know, she she just had bought uh, Flixster Pro, and she said, "Well, um, hey, it, it doesn't import. I have an issue, right?" So our relationship really uh, was created because she had an issue. She had a question, and uh, because I was uh, able to. You know, help her with with the issue she had. Uh, we had a, a relationship where I said, you know, you've got so much content on your platform. We are building a system that you can, you can include everything on just one single platform. She had no idea that Flixsters was able to do that. Uh, and this is the uh, channel that you can see when you type the URL that I showed you, gregarious.flixsters.com. Okay. Um, what attracted uh, uh, Adrian to the channel is like, hey, I can put my uh, my videos on it, but I can also put other people's videos on it. So people that have getting a lot of views in my niche, in my specific, uh, uh, you know, neck of the woods, I can actually pull to my channel as well. So I don't have to always produce my own videos. And that's what you can see here. She's got her own videos and she's got other people's videos in here, right? The other thing is she added blog post. Look at the amount of blog posts that she has. Why? Because these blog posts will pull her clients to the channel and make them interact. And the great thing about this is, um, you know, she can share the blog post, but if you go to a video, let me just log out for a second. Uh, 
Okay, so at this point, when you enter this, the, the, the channel, you are entering the channel as a user. So uh, when I go to one of Adrian's videos and I think, hey, this is a great video. When you uh, click the like or the dislike, or you want to share, or people that come to your page and they want to leave a comment, they are asked to sign up for your platform. So there's directly a way for you to capture your, your, uh, your email address. Now, what she has here is she has a channel with all her videos, um, with her blog post, with her uh, podcast, and all uh, together. So she only needs one platform where she can direct her uh, her uh, audience to, okay, and get that precious email address. Okay, so that's what I wanted to show you in terms of. Uh, what Adrian has done with her Flixus channel. Now, Adrian, uh, I haven't told you that before, but you haven't changed your uh, your Fapicon yet. I suggest you do that, uh, other than just having your gregarious logo here on the top. Okay. So let me go back to the presentation. I always have to move your comments when I do that. There we go. So. This is the case study. She has the YouTube uh, channel, right? She already has the videos there. You don't want to uh, have that uploaded and downloaded. She has a SoundCloud podcast here. She has a blog post on a, web, a website. You can just go through the, to the URLs to, to have a look at those. And, um, you know, you, you, she can now with Flixsters not only put her own videos in, but also other people's videos in so that she can capture audiences from other people onto her site. Now, uh, you can see on the left side, that's the mobile view. And then on the right side is the desktop view. On mobile, it looks pretty awesome as well, right? And then you can see on the bottom, there are the menu options rather than on the left side that you have on the desktop version. So you can do this on any device. Why is that important? Because when uh, people want to listen to Adrian's uh, podcasts, they can do that on their mobile device. They can go anywhere. They can sit in their car. They can be on a walk. Um, they can sit on the beach uh, and, and, and listen to what, uh, what she has to offer. Uh, and because this is a spiritual site, sometimes that's uh, required, right? You want, you want to be somewhere else than behind the computer. You can see that she has a blog post here. Uh, and you can see how that looks on a mobile device as well. And uh, this was the um, testimonial, it wasn't really a testimonial, but that, this was the message that she sent me once she figured out, hey, I can now upload my, and goes, upload my video straight away. Here it says, oh my God, I am already in love. Okay, here is what I did not tell you. I am an online influencer who runs several groups with a combined total of 100,000 people. Now, don't be modest, there's much more than that, Adrian. Um, I would love to be an affiliate or reseller. Now, uh, we just went through the uh, agency. So the agency uh, uh, does uh, provide that if you uh, get that. Uh, I, I promise I sing your praise, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm so excited that this is actually working. Uh, once I figured out how to upload the videos, let you have thousands of amazing videos on you know, her channel, right? So, and you can see that there are many, many uh, videos that people can consume, can uh, interact with and leave their email address, right? So uh, this is the testimonial that Adrian uh, left. Hello, my name is Adrian Obi, and I'm the creator of Astrology Alert Inside and GetMeARealJob.com and now Gregarious.Flixsters.com. And I've got to tell you, gregarious.flixsters.com has become my favorite place to go. I love Flixsters. It's been amazing. It's been so easy and so simple for me to get things going there. Um, there were a little bumps, but you know what the great thing is? I had so much inside help from Danny and their team. And I mean, I love it. I What I love about Flixsters is that we can bypass all the ads, all of the gunk all of the things are putting in our computer the commercials that interrupt us whenever we go to say um youtube or facebook right but um the thing is with this that's bypassed you don't have to deal with that also another thing i i don't like with the videos 
um, on YouTube is you might start them off on your video and you'll walk away and come back and they're so far away from where you started that they might never find their way back to you. This way, our videos are isolated and almost like we have a captive audience. And I love that. It's a really great part of Flixsters. The other thing I love is the fact that we can put our blogs there. We can put our podcast there. I love the fact that we can inhale our videos from places like YouTube, or we can upload our own videos and just put our own videos there. It's, it's an amazing platform. I'm not going to lie. I have not figured out all the inside steps to this platform, but from what I gather, there's even more that I can do with making videos for my affiliate links and other things like that. So I'm really excited. And I think this is a win-win for anyone who decides to get Flixsters.com. Yeah, that's that, that that was very kind for uh, uh, Adrian to leave that uh, that message for uh, for us. But she touches on uh, two crucial items that are very important for her videos on uh, uh, that are produced online. What what the videos will do on YouTube is uh, obviously when you uh, switch on your commercials, but even if you don't, YouTube will produce uh, these ads uh, during your videos, after your videos, before your videos. Um, in order to monetize their company, right? Um, and when you stream videos through Flixsters, that is all taken care of. That's that that doesn't happen. So especially when you have videos in astrology where you want to keep people onto your video and not have an ad just in the middle of a video, which is very disruptive, right? Um, you don't want to have that, right? So it's a very uh, important element, and if that is relevant for your niche, you know that those ads will not run if you use Flixsters uh, as a platform. Okay. Um, Greg, you say, I guess my message won't be answered. I, I must have missed it. So if you can just repeat that. Um, sometimes I just miss uh, questions because there's so many people on the call. Okay, so huge opportunity um, is what we want to go into next, okay? What I want to show you is, okay, I, at the beginning of the presentation, I showed you, hey, th th this is uh, Russell, he's doing funnel flicks, he's putting uh, other uh, people's videos into his own platform, right? This is a way of collaborating with people in your, uh, in your niche. Uh, I know Adrian does that as well. She does a lot of co uh, collaborations. Uh, and therefore, if she shows other people's videos in her niche, people that she knows on her channel, then the people are going to their channel. Uh, and the other thing that Adrian can do is she, she can use the Flixus program to either be an affiliate, uh, and I know she's already signed up as an affiliate, to, uh, to show this to her friends in uh, the niche that she's operating in. Um, but there's another opportunity as well, because um, what I showed you when I showed you uh, Adrian's uh, a website is that she can put a logo and she can put a favicon but in order to have a true white label you need to have uh, your own url right and this is this is a tricky thing this is not something that we can easily automate but we do allow people that uh, want to go into selling white label opportunities um, and getting everything so the easy thing i could do i haven't done it but uh, this is what you can do as well is you can see that people in Adrian's niche, in the astrology niche, are very fond of a system like this. And with an easy search on YouTube, with a keyword of astrology, and you look at channels, you can see many, many influ influencers in the astrology niche that would really benefit from a platform like this, right? And you can see this, the URL that I used in order to get those uh, search results. It's very easy, and you can do this on uh, Facebook. You can do this on Instagram. You can do this on YouTube. Find these influencers that uh, would love to to have their hands on Flixsters. If you can just do a very quick and simple demo, right? Uh, it didn't take me more than like what 15 minutes. So you can approach these people easily, right? Um, the most requested feature from people that are using uh, Flixsters now is to have a true white label and use their own URL link. Okay, not only their logo, not only the Fabicon, but also their own URL. So if, for example, 
my channel should be uh, gregorius.com rather than gregorius.flixters.com. Um, I need to be able to, at least our, our team needs to be able to re, uh, redirect uh, people to that platform without them seeing anything that has to relate to Flixters, right? That's a true white label. No relation to Flixters whatsoever, just your own complete platform. Okay. Now, you can do this for influencers and create white label uh, channels for them um, to anyone that is in the music or video industry, uh, any YouTube influencer in any niche, right? If you just look at the amount of followers that people have, you can see how much influence they have and how much they rely on video, audio, and blogs, right? So there's an opportunity here for you to be able to provide a service to influencers where you manage for them the Flixsters channel, right? A true white label channel. You can have different packages and this is just an example of what you can do, right? You can uh, offer uh, a one, two or uh, multiple channels. You can have different types of, uh, where I, I showed you the upgrades between next, ultimate uh, and pay, right? You can have different packages that you can sell um, and depending on what is included in your package, you obviously can ask a single price, right? You can ask a monthly price for management if you managed to uh, to put videos uh, on their channel. And again, it can be other people's videos. So it doesn't have to take a lot of your time either, right? And because you uh, can activate comments uh, and activate monetization and activate social media sharing, etc., these are all options to your service that you can provide a uh, influencer. And that's the reason why the title of this webinar was how can I earn thousands of dollars uh, leveraging, you know, the popularity of influencers here. Okay, I have no doubt that uh, people in Adrian's niche earned quite a bit of money, not only from advertising, but from collaborations, from affiliate management, uh, of affiliate uh, uh, marketing, etc. Okay, so they have a certain income already. These people have an income that in that they can spend on you know the things that they love right so sell the platform access okay no more flixsters logos no more flixsters into your url uh, and the only thing that you can uh, uh, rely on uh, on us on is support that means if you're managing a new client and you have an issue with their channel you come back to us and we with a dedicated support group for you. That means a dedicated support group on Skype where we have a dedicated uh, support individual and yourself that can directly uh, get support from that. Because we understand and we know that when you manage clients accounts, that whenever you need support, you need it to have it as soon as possible, at least as soon as we're awake, right? So that's what, what, uh, what we wanna provide you when when you're interested in providing a white label solution. So uh, what's a true white label? It's your own branding uh, or the branding of your customer with a custom logo, custom colors, um, your own custom domain, your own white label client panel, right? So you can add your, your white label clients, uh, delete clients in case of non-renewal or cancellations. If you know your, your client doesn't wanna uh, continue the service, that's fine, then, then delete the account and you have the ability to add another account. Uh, you can sell uh, one time if you want or sell on a monthly basis. I suggest you do on a monthly basis because when you provide a service that is provided on, you know, every month, then you should be remunerated on a monthly basis. Um, we will do the technical support, uh, uh, you know, from our end. Customer support, you obviously have to do yourself because you have the relationship with your customer, right? Um, and there are no hidden charges. Now, for a true white label solution, uh, the usual cost for a SaaS platform like I showed you uh, is somewhere around the 5,000 mark, right? Now, um, if you get all of this next ultimate pay agency and white label, we could easily charge a $2,000 fee just one time, right? You can also ask for a monthly, but you can ask for a, a one-time. 
the opportunity we want to give you because you spent uh, the last hour with me on this uh, on this webinar is that for the next 30 minutes and the time will run whenever you go, go to the uh, url uh, and the url is presented here is that for just 497 dollars you can get all of the upgrades that you can see above what does that mean it means you have the next version with all the features that i showed you you have the ultimate upgrade the pay upgrade the agency upgrade where you can resell accounts without the white label for with 50 accounts 50 accounts that you can resell okay uh, in addition to that you can create 10 white label accounts okay now the white label accounts will take a little bit more of your time it's not just a, a, a switch that we have to uh, flip and then it's all done uh, we want to work together with you to create those white label accounts and to satisfy your customer in your end so that you can earn a, a monthly income from managing those accounts okay so when you're interested in that you can go to let me just put it in the box for you in the chat box uh, to this url okay just give me a sec live.flixsters.com slash white label okay when you have any issues with that just let me know okay um now um that's not all okay um and i don't think you expected that that would be all right but you can go there now um you can go to the url and um if after the th 30 minutes we still have the deal open but it will jump to 997 okay it's still a steal of a deal in order for you to get this whole package and this whole package is you cannot find it anywhere else just through this webinar so anyone that didn't get to this webinar i mean they're missing out i'll tell you they are missing out um then uh if you do not want to have the full package uh you can go to if you just want to have the next version you can go to live.flixsters.com slash next um, on just another screen i'm just going to check if you can actually buy individual packages okay if you have to buy the individual packages, it, it, it will uh you know you can see the cost and it'll it'll be there and then let me see if this so the the coupon code is not yet active that will be active on the launch date which is on monday but let me see if you can check out because if i send you there uh, because you don't want the white label package then you need to be able to click that button right because i think it's it can't be sold yet oh yes i can see it can be sold so lucky you Just uh, double checking things here uh, so that if you check out, you don't experience any issues. Okay. Looking at the back end. I'm not trying to uh, let some bad error here. Uh, edit. Just making sure that you are able to check out if you want just the that version okay so um that's what you can do and then um i obviously uh would encourage you to take the white label account now why uh, would i encourage you because you will get a couple of additional bonuses um you will get another a couple of additional bonuses that you can get so the first bonus that you can get is flixter's cloud which means uh, apart from all the other, uh, you know, whether it's uh, Google Drive or YouTube or any other hosting uh, element, we have our own hosting platform, which is called Flixus Cloud, and we will allow you to upload unlimited videos uh, to that service. Okay, so you can actually use that, and uh, there are multiple features that you can see on this this screen as well. Uh, unlimited videos that you can put on, uh, on there. You, it's just uh, one click. 
publish. It's a video to, to GIF technology when you want to create a thumbnail. Um, there are uh, animated video play buttons if you want to uh, use that system to you know, embed it into your uh, website if you would want. If you don't, don't want to use Flixer for that. Uh, you can upload MP4 uh, videos in HD, etc., cetera, et cetera. So that's what we will allow you as a first bonus uh, with a commercial license. So you can put videos on there and then sell those videos if you want to. The other bonus uh, and added uh, application that we will give you is Flix emails. Those are videos that you can actually put in your emails. Again, with Flixers, you can build your email uh, a list and now in your emails itself, when you send them out, you can already include videos. Now, wouldn't it be great that you can, they can already watch your video on an email, click on it, and then go to your Flixsters channel, right? This is all video. Okay, that's the second bonus that we will give you when you buy into the white label version that we have for you today. The other thing that we will provide you is bonus number three, is to produce banner ads, okay? Banners, thumbnails. Obviously for every video that you uh, you use and you wanna change out the thumbnail, you wanna have something animated, which you can, uh, can do, uh, this is what can be created with banner ads animated designs. As you can see on the left side, it's a, uh, it, it shows like a video, but it is not a video, it's a GIF. Uh, and, and that type of technology, we will provide you to create uh, these things for your channel, for your ads, right? Because when you get the white label, you get also the monetization uh, feature. And especially when you're talking about putting ads on your channel, you want to have some creatives that uh, people will be able to click on, right? So also for your ads, this is a great uh, platform to use. It has multiple templates, so um, you can choose any template that you have that you want. Just uh, change them out and use them for your niche, or you can just do that from scratch. Okay, it's called banner ads. And then let me see. Right, so that's the third bonus that we're going to give you. So, what's the full package? You get your pro and, or in this case, your next version, you get your ultimate version, you get your pay version, you get your agency, 50 accounts, and your white label and accounts, uh, plus Flixters Cloud, Flix emails, and banner ads for just one time payment for $4.97. Okay, just go in here to this URL. Let me see your comments, whether there's any issues. Can I download banner ads to work? On other sites, uh, yes, you can use uh, banner ads for any anything you want. Uh, it doesn't need to be with Flixters, just uh, so Reese, yes, that, that can be done. So uh, the question I got from uh, many people that have bought into Flixters Pro earlier is, are there any specific discounts uh, other than, you know, the discount that's presented on the sales page? for a Flixers Pro uh, clients? Well, here's the thing, and you gotta understand, and Ashan, you, you uh, asked that question, but there are others that have done that as well. Um, we will provide you with the coupon code on the launch day, but you will have to invest in your next version upgrade. Why? Because we've put a lot of effort and energy into building this platform. Uh, and you bought Flixters Pro, which is available to you. You do not have to, you know, you don't have to upgrade to Next, but if you want to upgrade to Next, you'll have to pay the purchase price. Okay, I can't make it better than that. It's already a steal of a deal, but that's what uh, what's what the current deal is. Okay, you go to live.flixers.com/next-webinar, right? Then you click on the payment button. Click on it, and then you see the PayPal option. Okay, so now you should see the PayPal option uh, available for you. There we go. Heike says it's working for me for PayPal. Great. And Dolphin says it worked for me. That's great. Adrian, just uh, uh, see if you can uh, 
can reload it. Okay, make sure. And and if you if you can't just do it in incognito, maybe that that'll that'll help because it may be cookied for some reason. Still not clear on what I have, um, Samantha. Let me see. Still not clear on what I have. Pro Ultimate Pay Agency, but want all upgrades, including white label. Do we have to pay the 4.97? Um, yes, Samantha, you will have to pay the 4.97. Uh, just only for the white label. Uh, uh, we have to, you know, you got to understand. There are 10 white label accounts that we're uh, giving you in the white label option. That means that for 10 of your clients we will uh, produce a white label uh, channel with you know you will you will uh, obtain the uh, the logo and the favicon and the url that uh, they want to host it on and then our back back uh, office guys will actually need to do manual labor in order to get everything set up this is not a systemized thing so that's why the price is set okay so does it all also upgrade to the next so whenever you've got an uh, account that is currently pro um, if you check out with the same email address that you've got on pro your account will be upgraded okay if you use a email address that uh, you did not use with the pro purchase then it will be a new account okay makes sense awesome so adrian got it uh, got it ready now adrian i fully expect you're also going to affiliate for us uh, because you've got such a nice setup there okay um so guys any other questions because now i've got my full attention on the questions okay and while you type in your questions uh, let me do one other thing that i promised you which is the free coaching session with my wife kimberly and myself and let me see who is my favorite here David, I'll get, I'll get to your question in a minute. Let me see. Heike, Heike, you're gonna be the beneficiary of one full hour of coaching with myself and Kimberly. Now, that's not support. If I support you with Flixers, that's something else, but I wanna support uh, you and Kimberly as well in your business. Okay, so Heike, congratulations with uh, that. Um, for any uh, of the prices and the bonuses that you get with the white label, please send a message to support at dannydevries.com. Okay, um, this ensures a log, one uh, at your, uh, your receipt, but uh, this will ensure that we will be able to follow up with you after your purchase and get you everything that we've promised you on this webinar okay so go to support at dannydevries.com so you can get all your prizes um i obviously got your names for the people that got uh, got some prizes and for your white label install okay q a let me see i was david david you had a question let me see what happens in a video that was imported from someone else's channel and that's that so but yeah that that uh, video is being removed from the account removed from youtube or TikTok. well uh david if you're using someone else's video that he has uh, shown as public you can use that video the moment that person um uh, changes that video from public to private, you can no longer share it because that person actually says, said to you, I do not want to share that with anyone else anymore. And we don't want to run into issues, no legal issues. We don't want it for you. So as long as YouTube and TikTok allow it to embed uh, videos, then you can do that in, in Flixsters. If not, you cannot. Okay, I hope that that is a, a satisfactory answer. Heike, can I completely replace my website with Flixers next? Totally. I mean, I showed you the the, uh, the example of uh, the worker bee, uh, Adrian Obi, where you know she produces so many videos and on so many uh, platforms. But if you have a platform of uh, Flixers where you can pr produce all your content that you have and get people to that single site, which is a blessing, I'll tell you that because I've seen many many influencers that are using so many sites 
and they're going crazy in, okay, I have to upload it here, I have to upload it there in order to only gain some followers. Now, I, would, I, I don't say you shouldn't use YouTube. The reason why you wanna use YouTube is uh, to get uh, people to go to YouTube and get onto Flixers, okay? Why do you wanna use Facebook? Uh, to get them from Facebook to Flixers, your own single domain where you control your customer, okay? Because yes, uh, YouTube has 2 billion users. Uh, Facebook has 2 billion users. Um, and it's your job to get as many people onto Flixers where you control them rather than YouTube and Facebook, okay? So can you replace your website? Your website, certainly. Do you wanna uh, not be on social media? You know, that's all, all depends on your niche. Um, if you're, if you want to get your followers on your platform, yeah, stay on, on social media and share your uh, your videos there. But get them onto your own domain. Gabriel, okay, uh, the, the link to Flixters next. Yes, I can share that. Um, let me just copy it. I'm going to put it in the in the chat box. So. Let me know if you see it in the chat box. Here you go. So it's live.flixsters.com slash next. Okay. And if you want to have the white label offer, which is not offered through the sales pages at all. Okay. You can only get it on this webinar. It's uh, slash next dash webinar. Okay. Send it to you in a private message as well. Ed has a question, uh, just want to be clear, the URL and white label are the same uh, and you are offering it for 497, correct? Um, I don't know, maybe I'm trying to rephrase your question, Ed. So if you want to have your own URL, for example, um, if you're in astrology and you want to use astrology.com, for your site to show, your Flixster site to show on that domain. Um, that URL will then be used together with your logo and your Fabicom. No one will know that your system is run through Flixsters other than you and I, okay? So it's your platform, it's like your funnel Flix um, that uh, Russell Brunson spent thousands and thousands of dollars on to create. And we are providing that for just 500 bucks, right? 497. That's actually what you're getting. Okay. I want you guys to realize that that's the opportunity that we're trying to provide you. Okay. Awesome. I think uh, I answered most of your questions. If you want to get into contact with me, then um, there are a couple of ways. One, you can reach out to me on Facebook through Facebook Messenger. You can reach out to me on Skype, which I will give you the Skype name. And this is only for this webinar. Okay, other than that, use the uh, support URL. Um, so on Skype, on Messenger, or through, I'll put that email in here, support at dannydereese at me.com. Okay. Everything you need is, is there. I'll just uh, keep this open for a couple of minutes um, so that you can just grab those uh, URLs and the messages I, I just sent you, the support uh, email and my Skype address. Uh, but I wanna thank you for uh, spending the time with me today. And uh, I look uh, forward to interacting with you on your Flixers channels, uh, on your white label channels, on the sales that you do to your customers uh, so that not only you can uh, achieve your objective, that is earning money with Flixsters, but we uh, also, uh, you know, get to our objective, and that's making you earn money and leaving these awesome testimonials like uh, Adrian has done on Flixsters. I thank you very much for your time, and I hope to see you on the next webinar, next launch on anything that we produce. Uh, see you next time.